What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of buying a house. So stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Eric here. I'm a local real estate agent and I'm with Kelly and he's a financial consultant. Financial consultant. Um, if you're new to our channel and we're going to talk about a lot of things about real estate finances and <coughs> I am not sick. I am actually just choking on a popcorn. Anyways, uh, <laughs> going back to what I was saying. Um, oh yes, we're talking about finances and real estate. So if you're new to our channel and you like our videos, please smash that like button for us. It really helps us and subscribe to our channel. Uh, this way it really helps us and it also you won't miss out on any videos that we make in the future. So anyways, let's get right to it. So, so what are we talking about today? The pros and cons of owning a home or buying okay. a house, right? So one of the things in buying a home is you get that long term investment. Like a lot of people want to invest in stocks and gold and silver um, or even Bitcoin or whatever it is. Um, real estate's actually a really cool thing to invest in because um, you physically have an asset there and typically if the market does go up, you have uh, um, a really good investment as well as, imagine this, let's say in 20, 25 years, your home's paid off and the average price of a home, let's say is about 380,000. The second you have finished your last payment, you have 380,000 sitting there. How cool is that? And you can actually go against your home. You can pull out equity out of your home to do other things and buy other things and buy for other sure. houses. Absolutely. It's all about diversifying what I like to say, your portfolio. Yeah, for sure. So if you had 380,000 smackaroonies, what would you do, Kelly? Oh gosh, there's so many things I would do. Travel. Yeah. I'd probably, you know, invest in other things, yeah. maybe buy another property. Cool. Um, I know with my stepson, he's going to want to buy a home. I could help him out with that. Oh. Yeah. And just pay off my car because it'd be lower interest rates. Yeah, that's true. You know, there's so many possibilities. There are. There are. There sure are. So, so what's another that. pro? Another pro is um, you can actually start building equity. And what that is, is basically every payment um, that you make towards your home, you're making you're, 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 it's, imagine a big piggy bank. I, I guess that's the best way of, mm. of uh, looking at it. And um, if the market, you know, let's uh, put into consideration there's inflation. And as the market improves, your home, uh, the value of it goes, uh, is higher and you've paid off your home. You're definitely going to build equity for sure. So that's a really, really good thing. Okay. So that's being okay. able to access money, yeah. the value of your home. Okay. For sure. For sure. And you know what's really cool too? A lot of clients, when I meet them, when I when, when I talk to them, hey, why do you want to buy a home? You know what, what the number one answer is usually? No, I don't. They usually go, you know what? We've been dreaming about buying and owning a home. So that tells me there's a lot of pride in it. Mm -hmm. And like, they're just so proud. Um, it's very, very different uh, when you're renting a home. Uh, I remember when I was in university and... I had a friend, uh, he was, um, I think he had just finished university one or two years and he was telling everyone, all his friends, hey, I'm buying my first home. We're all like, w w what do you mean you're buying a home? We're like, we're just talking about rent and you're, you want to buy a house. Um, that was the coolest feeling ever. And of course, what's really cool is once you own your home, you can do anything you want with the home. Um, you can repaint anytime. Whereas if you rent a home, you really, it, it's hard. You need the permission from the, the landlord. Yeah. Um, if you want to put a brand new kitchen in there, you can and enjoy it. Uh, and I don't know about you. If you love hot tubs, you can actually have a hot tub in your backyard. Uh, you can build a swimming pool if you really want to. Do. Um, and yeah, just... It, you know, it, it's it's just the freedom of doing things and building and creating things and renovations. Like if you're into all of that, um, yeah, owning your home is definitely the way to go. So 
It's all about stability, too. You know, you can. I just, think it is. You would feel more stable, 100%. possibly owning a home. Okay. Yeah, you betcha. The other thing is, that's a good point. Typically, when you're uh, renting a home, if let's say the landlord decides to sell their home, well, guess what? You got it. You're being kicked out. I hate to say it, to say it bluntly, you are being kicked out. So, when you own your home, you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about the landlord saying, hey, look, I'm kicking you out because you're the owner. You own the home. So you definitely have that stability. And uh, so if, if most people like stability. And if you don't care about stability, I guess it really doesn't matter. But most people do. So That's a good point. It is. It really is. Um, oh, did you know that typically when you actually own uh, um, a property, usually it improves your credit score a little bit? Uh, because you have an asset. So if you went out to buy a vehicle, uh, the car companies go, oh, we see that you actually own a home. So they feel that you're more responsible. Uh, but make sure you do it in that order. A lot of times, if you actually yeah. went to buy a vehicle and then you bought a house, what happens is, let's say your payment is, whether it's $500 or $1,000, that actually takes away from your purchasing power of buying a house. Whereas if you actually own the home first, then you went to buy a vehicle, they actually view it as an asset and they feel that your application is stronger. So make sure you do it in that order. I remember years ago, I had this one case where I was helping a client. Uh, we found the perfect home for them. They absolutely loved it. And uh, we submitted the offer. Everything was good. We did the home inspection. Everything passed. However, the banker forgot to tell them not to go out and purchase a vehicle. Oh no, Guess what, what happened? They went to purchase two vehicles. Not just one, but two. And oh. guess what happened? That totally squashed the deal <gasps> because it took away their um, uh, credit amount, if you will. Uh, and yeah, it, 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 that, that part was very, very sad. And um, so it showed that they had more debt than yeah, they could afford. Yeah. Like credit's uh. such a funny thing. You know, you figure that, look, whether you're buying a house first or a, or, or a vehicle first, it really shouldn't make a difference, but it does. So knowing that to play within the rules and know about it, um, I think it's important for people, right? That is so true. Yeah. Uh, another uh, good thing uh, about owning a home is typically... If let's say you have a three bedroom home that you're renting and you buy another three bedroom house, your mortgage payment typically is going to be a little bit lower than rent. Isn't that crazy? It is, well, think about it. So if you are renting, basically it's a property that's owned by the landlord, they're the owner, they have to pay a mortgage on it. And a lot of times they actually want to try and um, have a little breathing space. So they would actually charge a little bit more compared to their mortgage payment. That's why when you're renting, you're not, you're, you're paying their mortgage plus a little bit more usually. So that's yeah. why. So you're yeah. covering the expenses of a landlord. Oh, hundred percent. And giving them a little extra. You are. You are. So, so right. at least knowing that, I mean, as long as you know that, you know what you're paying for. Yeah, exactly. So go buy a home. It's really, really cool. So here, I've talked about the, the pros already. Here are some of the cons. Uh, the first thing is when you initially buy a home, there's a very high upfront cost. So what that means is typically when you buy a home, you got to put between 5%, 5, uh, maybe 10%, 15% or 20%. So 5% on a $400,000 home, you're looking at 20000 Plus, there's other costs associated with moving. So that's definitely one of the, the, the cons. If you don't have the money, um, it's, it's very, very difficult to move. Um, so make sure you save up that money if you do want to get a home. But yes, you're, you're, you know, it's a, a high cost when you first buy a home. So check out our other videos on budgeting and saving. That'll help you with your down payment for your house. Click and subscribe down below. You betcha. The next thing is you actually have less mobility. What that means is let's say you got a new job offer somewhere, oh. Hawaii, I don't know, where, wherever you're going to, you California, to go to um, Saskatchewan, 
Don't want to go to Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have a job in, I don't know, where's where's a cool place to, to go to? Mars? <laughs> That'd be a long it, commute. It, it would be. Um, it'd be a little bit more difficult to move, and you can't just go, okay, I'm done renting, see you later. When you own a home, you can't just physically go, hey, look, I'm going to... You can't just pack up and go. You can't. Well, I guess you could, but, you know... You're going to usually you're still have this. Paying. You're, you're still paying. Exactly. Okay. Uh, another thing is people don't always think about the maintenance cost. Uh, repairs. Um, if let's say you need to change uh, uh, the roof because the roof is really old and water's starting to leak into the house, you got to change that. And to change a roof, the average price is what? We'll say between four to $5,000. That's another big cost. Uh, how about your windows or um, you need to rechange the flooring because the carpet's really old or something like that. So there's definitely maintenance costs associated with owning a home. Uh, what else is there? Um, oh, yes. When you own a home, you need to pay for property taxes. Boom. And insurances. Yes. Oh, yes. All these little extra things. And insurance. So... Uh, the average property tax, you're looking between any, depending on the, the size of your home and where you are and, and so on and so forth, it's going to range anywhere from 1500 all the way up to $10,000. Yes, there are homes that have property taxes that are closer to $10,000. Typically, those are the million dollar homes. But for an average home, for about three hundred to 400000 typically you're looking between Twenty five hundred to probably thirty five hundred dollars. Okay. So that's five grand, say five grand a year. Oh yeah. So if you take that, I bring out my trusty phone and calculator. Yep. Because I like to do everything. <laughs> yep. That's five grand a year mm -hmm. divided by twelve months. That's an extra four hundred and sixteen roughly dollars yes. you're paying per month. Absolutely. You betcha. So, so you got to factor that in. You sure do. 100%. So there, there's a lot of things to think about when you're buying a home. And that's why uh, before you decide you want to become a homeowner, um, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And lastly, when it comes to building equity, uh, it actually takes a lot longer to build equity. It, it, it's, it's not a quick, you buy the home and the equity is there. There is an exception though. Back in 2006 period to 2007 to 2008, house prices nearly doubled. That was yeah. a very, very different and probably once in a lifetime uh, event, I'm gonna say, uh, during that time period. And I remember I had some clients, um, they were fairly young. Youngest clients I had was probably 18, bought their first home. Oh, they that's bought. Awesome. They bought it for. They bought a, a little by level that was maybe about seven hundred square feet, big backyard, no garage, for a hundred and forty thousand. Wow. The next year, we sold it for two hundred and seventy thousand. Oh wow! Wow! They just wow. about doubled their money. Isn't that unbelievable? Wow. Um, for most people, you look at our parents, our grandparents. Majority of the time, they need to live in their home for probably 50, 60, even 70 years to, to, to nearly realize $100,000. So, um, yes, you can build equity and so on and so forth, but um, it takes time. And uh, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, text us, phone us, email us, even fax us if you guys want. And pigeon then, carriers even. Or even pigeon carriers. And other than that, we'll see you next time.